This is Jay on LA, and today I'm going to talk about neighborhood council elections. First of all, thank God my neighborhood council is a four-year term, so I don't have to deal with any of this turmoil the department is putting on people. Having said that, sounds like there's a lot of sour grapes out in Sunland to hunger, because a whole faction of people lost, and now they feel disenfranchised, and because of that, our current council president is now put in a request to standardize all of the elections. Most importantly, what she wants to do is have no documentation, which basically means every lying sack can come into our district, say they are a stakeholder, you can't do anything about it, they're going to rally people together like a bicycle group or some other marching group out there and they're going to try and take over your neighborhood council. Folks, this is again another issue of a misguided general manager who's trying to control a system that barely worked before that she's now dismantling piece by piece with her authoritarian way of dictating to neighborhood councils, to alliances, and to board members. This has to stop. Mr. Mayor, this is a personal plea from someone who has been around 13 years in this system. You need to put together a committee of people that can look at, in a very genuine, objective way, what is happening to our system because of the general manager you hired. It all falls in your lap. And I know it's not your big priority because you've already got the rest of the city going to hell in a handbasket. But now you're disenfranchising all the board members of neighborhood councils, feeling that you are franchising in all of the other people who just want to take over and circumvent democracy. It didn't work in Portland. It won't work anywhere else. This is not Georgia. No one's being disenfranchised. It's simple. If you can't qualify under the rules, you can't come in. Think about all the, the city council people, you know, who jacked around and had a house somewhere and a house somewhere else and then gets caught. You can't do it. So documentation for those who want it should be allowed to be kept and standardizing rules and just sending a memo to the city attorney to determine how to dictate to neighborhood councils in true violation of Charter Section 900 through 909 is ludicrous and you're losing touch. And this general manager, quite frankly, needs to go. Her time has come. She's done more damage in a very short time than other general managers took years to do. So, And if that's your benchmark for performance-based budgeting, then give her a lot of money because she has screwed us up royally in a very short period of time. Mr. Mayor, it's in your lap.